Hello again. In this lecture, we're going to address key exchange. What's the idea? Well, if you have two parties that are trying to communicate with one another and they don't share a key, how could they do symmetric encryption? Well, they couldn't, right? But if they don't have a uh, secure channel, how do you get the key from one to the other? Okay. Well, this happens all the time. It's what we call a uh, scenario of mutual suspicion. It happens, for example, every time that you go onto a new website to, say, buy something, buy a widget, right? Or every time you want to send your credit card online. How do you know that you're actually dealing with somebody over a secure channel? Well, you can't if, uh, unless you have a, some sort of a key uh, to encrypt the information, right? And this is called the key exchange problem. Right. Well, suppose that you have a public key infrastructure set up so that uh, each party has a public key and a private key which they've uh, kept close to the vest. Well, then you might imagine doing the following. Suppose that you take a new symmetric key and you encrypt it with the sender's private key. Okay? Well, <clears throat> then you're sure that it came from the sender, for example. Uh, but when it gets to the receiver, um, they know who they're talking to. But the problem with that scenario, as we saw last time, is that you don't know for sure that it arrived confidentially because anyone might have the sender's public key and be able to decrypt that and extract the, the session key. Okay? Well, let's try again. Suppose that you encrypt that key with the receiver's public key. Well, then you know it arrived confidentially, right? Because no one could decrypt that if they didn't have the receiver's private key. The problem is that now we're not sure where it came from because anyone might have the receiver's private key and might have created that message. Okay, so the question is, can we get both confidentiality and authentication in one message? And the answer, we've already seen this uh, once before. So, could we get both confidentiality and authentication in one message? Yes, we could, uh, and we've seen this once before. We can apply two levels of encryption. We first of all apply the sender's private key and then, to the result of that, we apply the receiver's public key. Now, what does this gain for us? Well, first of all, we know that no one else could decrypt the message who might have intercepted it along the way because it's encrypted with the uh, receiver's public key, and nobody but the owner of the receiver's private key could strip off that level of encryption. Once you've done that, then you know that the inner message, which is encrypted with the sender's private key, must have come from the sender because nobody else could have produced that. So we've accomplished both confidentiality and authentication in one message at the cost of doing these two levels of encryption. Um, a question you might ask yourself is, could you have done the encryption in the other order? And I'll let you think about that. Okay, so what have we learned? Well, we can use public key uh, infrastructure to accomplish key interchange, but we have to be pretty careful about how we do it because we want both confidentiality and authentication, and just one level of encryption probably won't give us both of those, and so we need two levels of encryption. This is an example, by the way, of what's called a cryptographic protocol, which we'll look at uh, quite in quite some detail later on. Thanks.